talking about a serious issue in our state now, hunger. This is Michelle Benedict. She's from the USANA Foundation. And what is the situation right now in Utah? In Utah right now, one in five kids are hungry. We have about 56,000 kids on the free and reduced lunch program. And out of that number, about a fourth of them are food insufficient at home. And that's right in our state, right in our backyard. Yeah, it is. So the USANA Foundation said we need to do something about that. Yes, so the USANA Foundation has always been involved in feeding kids throughout the world. But this year they decided that they'd like to do more locally. And so they looked out into the community and there were two groups that were feeding kids already and they acquired both of us. So the first group is the, uh, the Kids Next Door and that was the group that I founded <laughs> um, 10 years ago. We focused on the long holiday breaks and providing bags for those. And then the other group was Kids Eat Utah and that was founded by Linda Brown five years ago and they focused on the weekend bags. And so they acquired both groups, and now we're one program under the USANA Foundation. And how did that help, and how did that change things? Well, it doubled our efforts, first mm. of all. First thing, it doubled our efforts. It made it so that we're reaching more schools than we ever did, and we'll be able to reach more schools moving forward. You brought a visual for us to notice, and you see the kids holding it right there. Those are the right. backpacks that have food inside? Uh-huh. Yeah, the ones that you see, those are the weekend bags. Those go home with the kids, and they have about seven meals in them for just the weekends. And so for longer school breaks, like Christmas, they're we, even more full? Yeah, we provide bigger bags for the long breaks. Um, this year we'll probably provide about 3,000 bags for the long Christmas break. And uh, currently we're providing about 800 of the weekend bags every every weekend. Tell us about the new facility that you're opening. And we are so excited about the new facility. It'll open up next Thursday. We've got a big launch planned. Dr. Oz is coming to town to help us with the launch, but the facility itself is a humanitarian center. And so we'll be able to uh, invite anyone to come and pack bags. So we'll be able to accommodate large groups uh, like corporations or churches and bring everybody in and have them be able to pack bags on our packing line. So if our viewers are watching thinking we would love to help, what can they do? Uh, we can take a lot of different types of help, which is what's so exciting. Our website will have the ability to, um, you can get on there and sign up to volunteer. We can always take donations, uh, but we just want to get everyone involved. We want to get the community involved because this is such a big issue that no one can tackle it alone. So we want to call to the, to the community and our fellow corporations to just get involved in any way that they'd like to, and we'll provide a means to do that. Well, you mentioned Dr. Oz. I know he likes to throw out challenges all the time, but I think you have a challenge we for do, our viewers we too We do have a today. challenge. So our goal for next year is to provide 300,000 meals to kids. And so um, that means we'll be distributing about 1,000 backpacks each weekend. And so we'd like to call on the community to help us do that and to get involved so that we can meet that goal. The best way to do that, everybody, go to our website. We'll link you to all of the information about the USANA Foundation, abc4.com slash midday. And that'll take you to that site right there so you know you're in the right spot with those colorful backpacks with food that's so important for Utah kids. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.